Uh, you should know. Whoa, whoa, whoa. No, no. What? Sugar Rush, you asshole. She's not <laughs> old enough to fucking drink alcohol. Uh, I'm funny. You're not. <gasps> I make jokes online. Oh. For money, sort of. No, that's not true. I mean, yeah, it is, though. For a very, it's very, very, very small amount of That money. we really appreciate. Yes, no, that's it still makes, very it's true. Very, very appreciated. Uh -huh. Yeah, no, that was not supposed to wow. be dismissive. Damn, okay. Mix it! Grab this for a sec. Uh, okay. <clears throat> Lenore? I know you're watching from the beyond right now, as I give a drink to your little sister. It's obvious to me now that we both meant to make amends at some point, but we never got around to it, because we're assholes. I can't apologize to you anymore, but I can at the very least make you rest easier. So know that I'll look out for Gabby in your absence. Absinthe. I'll make sure Gabby grows into a fine woman just like you were. I'll always be there for her. I'll be sure the little brat doesn't face the same problem you and I had. Hey. Want to add anything? Um. I'll always miss her. Don't say to me. Say to her. That's a bit. Come on. Just this once. Um. I'll, I'll always miss you, sis. 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 You idiot! Why did you keep that secret for so long? Idiot? Idiot! I always told you everything. Wasn't I enough? You idiotic idiot! Come on, Tony. Feeling. <laughs> hey, Jill. Promise me you won't be like that knucklehead. That you won't keep stuff like that to yourself. Only if you promise the same to me. And, and promise me we won't fight. I can't do that. Eh? <laughs> you and I are both too thick-headed. Sooner or later, we'll clash on some opinion. But what I can promise is that I won't run away like last time. We'll both cool off and talk it over like the adults we are. Is she an adult? I'm oh. not an adult. Let's face it. You've been more mature than I have. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, did, did you mean what you said? That you'll look after me? Hell yeah. <laughs> I'll always be yeah, there. No, that's yeah. fine. That's fine. I wouldn't dare leave my little sister alone. Jill. Hey, wasn't this a toast? Right. For Lenore, faithful sister and girlfriend. Cheers. Cheers. Um, so about this drink... Can I drink it? Do you like it? Take a sip. It's not bad. Why not drink it then? You're with an adult. You might as well break the alcohol taboo here and now. Well, we didn't put any alcohol in it, Jill. <laughs> so I guess we're just lying to Gabby. Yep. R right. Now that I think back to it, didn't your sister give you beer once as a prank? Oh, yeah. That. It was April Fool's. I should have known better when she offered me apple soda. <laughs> oh, God. I put bubble gum on the soles of all her shoes in retaliation. Yes. Oh. Yes. That's really good. That's so bad. That's so good. She walked funny, and my jaw hurt for the rest of the day. Yeah, but did you know you got my drink that time? Huh? She gave me a beer, and it turned out to be apple soda. Oh. Did you get back at her? Well... I did hide all the dildos in the house that night, only to find out she knew how to use a cucumber. Oh my god, wow. Ah! Ah! I uh, feel so scandalized! That's not food safe! My, my tiny- Did they bleach the cucumber? My ex-Catholic mind! <laughs> no! Alright, let's continue. They ate the cucumber. They ate it. She said, so... Mm, do you like I eating me that. for lunch? Oh, I'm so scandalized. Gross. Uh, Jill? I'll tell you when you're older. But maybe don't. <laughs> yeah, maybe not at all. Uh, n n not at all. <laughs> huh? 
Hey, Gabby, do your parents know you're here? They think I'm at Clary's, actually. Who? Oh, she's my best friend at school. And this Clary knows you're using her as an excuse, right? Of course. How would she cover for me otherwise? True. Will you go to her house afterwards? To be honest, I didn't think that far. Maybe I will. I do live in another district, but Claire doesn't live close by, so... Hmm. Well, it can't be helped. I live nearby and the streets aren't exactly safe at night. Why not stay with me tonight? Uh, are you sure? I don't live in a mansion, but I'd say it's comfy enough. At least to spend the night. Sure, I'd love to stay with you. Great. Hey, does your dad still have that bakery? His bread was really good. Yep, he opened a second branch last year. So he's looking to expand? I think he got into a partnership with a friend in Motor District. The guy saw an opportunity after realizing Motor District has almost no bakeries. I still remember when your sister introduced me to him. Started shouting, I knew it! I fucking knew you were a lesbian! Mark one for daddy! <laughs> I think he had this bet with an acquaintance of his ever since my sister was, tw was uh, 12 years or <laughs> God. What a weird thing it, to say, Tony. Dad. <laughs> it is weird. Dad said sis was into girls. The acquaintance didn't believe him. He bet a beer on whether he was right or not. It's fine, though. That beer bottle is still in the fridge. It's even labeled Sweet Victory. Huh. Your mom and Lenore never made up, did they? Uh, I guess that one wasn't as simple as the said one too many things argument. Mom was always obsessed with high society, and in her circle of friends, a lesbian daughter was a no-no. I'm still on my sister's side for that one, though. I mean, good? Mom didn't reject her because she herself was homophobic. She did because her friends were. I think that makes you homophobic, though. Uh-oh, uh uh-oh. <laughs> <laughs> to Mom, the opinion of her circle of friends was worth more than her own daughter. God, I, I, I don't know if I believe that. Like, that... That doesn't... Mm. Yeah. How did she react to her death? Dunno. Mom and dad broke up two years ago. They did? They never got married, so there was no proper divorce. I haven't seen her since August, I think. Did you two fight too? No, she just hasn't showed up. Oh, fuck. God. You must have felt alone, huh? I've been there. No, you haven't, Jill! What? what? You don't know everything about her life, Tony. Well, okay. Fair. That's fair. I will spit. Uh, why the spit threats? Always that. No, don't. No, we're on. No, don't do that. Okay. A bit. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I felt a bit lonely, but I'm not alone anymore. Thanks to you. Wow. Huh? I thought there was going to be a party here. Alma, over here. Oh, I thought that was the dog voice. Party? A small New Year's celebration. Hi. Want to stay for it? I... I don't want a kid to burden. Uh, don't worry, you won't. You'll only get cola for the night, though. No alcohol. It'll give us time to catch up even more. I can introduce you to some friends. Are you in? If you don't mind me. Great. Hey, Alma! Come here, there's someone I want to introduce to you. What? What? The interface is going away. No! The game is going to heaven. Did I super prematurely end the episode? I think you we'll super see. prematurely we'll, we'll ended that last episode. Oh, you did! No. <laughs> it's all right. I probably you, you probably didn't even notice just now. No, you can't get rid of how good I did the the, the end. I I think I can I can get rid of that. I'm sorry, Mal. <laughs> no. All right, Mal. That's okay. They can hear it again. Mal, render render your thoughts on Valhalla. You know, I feel like Valhalla has existed in my life for like decades at this point. It feels like decades. It sure feels like decades. And because it's a little different than it, like a it, game like Yakuza or like Near Automata or something, which could go on for a long time, because that's like a big 3D thing. Lots of all sorts of things are going on. Well, and there's Here, like eight the plot endings, right? Like this was a single like linear like this happened, this happened, this happened, the end. Kind of. My understanding is that we're gonna see some shit at the end here. What? Yeah, yeah. Like our decisions are gonna 
Like the the drinks we served and all. Oh well, well yeah, but like, it's, it's there's not a lot of plot, right? It's not like I don't know. I feel like our our drink decisions don't necessarily like chain radically alter the course of the. Oh story. okay, sure. Yeah, yeah right. Sure. sure. This like, is, yeah, sure. It's a linear. This is what you get. Kind it's of. It's not like yeah, yeah. No, it's very it's very different. Um, Which, I really liked it at first. The boob talk really got me. The boob talk got, the got boob me down. The boob talk really pulled me down. In fact, I actually overall, I like, I say, I would solidly recommend this game to pretty much anyone. Um, the, the the thing that keeps me from going like, ah, oh, it's incredible, is the boob talk. Um, but yeah, having said that, I don't know. Like overall, I think the writing in general is pretty good. I thought they had a really good variety of storylines. I like how like the characters had multiple character arcs for the most part. Yeah feel that i i really like and like the fucking the game design itself is really fucking good right it is. like the, and the art, the is, art is really nice like, holy shit the like, art the game itself is really nice the music i is, oh God. honestly the dialogue left me wanting the dialogue and it is a dialogue wow. game wow there were a right. lot of conversations that kind of felt like they repeated the same sentence like five times and didn't really go anywhere you know i think i think you're right but i'm not gonna lie um <laughs> did we have fun uh yeah i had fun no yes i, no, I, 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 I had fun. Uh, i'm not gonna lie i do think a lot of that is just video games and so i don't know i just feel so fucking used to it i mean I that's guess. fair like because i because i think you're right though yep i also got to meet a cat boomer why did your boss hug you though <gasps> All right, all right, here we go. This, this is, is the end. Jill just said that. Did you have fun? Oh. Yeah. All right. She's that kind of person. Now let's sleep. You were dozing off back there. Oh, I see, because we're talking to Gabby. Yeah. I I assume we're still talking to Gabby. Okay, you're right. Good night, Jill. Uh, yeah? Anything else? Is that it? Oh, okay. Oh, damn it. I was just going to go, good night. <laughs> and then it was going to fade out. We'll play some more tomorrow. Good night. I can't, I can't imagine. May, God, maybe they'll make a sequel to this game. I think that'd actually be really cool if they made a sequel. I'd be into that. I feel like there was lots of really cool plot shit that didn't actually get super fleshed out. Which, like... I, I hope I hope you know I that'd be cool they could explore it yeah like I like I think like the world building and stuff in this game is really interesting and I wish mm -hmm. more of that had like actually come into the bar yes I, maybe not like, even by like a lot more just like no, no, a little no, 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 bit no. more just, a, li just, just a little bit more right like <laughs> do, 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 yeah. yeah just sprinkle it like like some finishing salt uh, or sand on in no, on the hourglass. Don't you dare sprinkle sand on me. Oh. Yeah. See, I knew there'd be more shit. We're gonna see the epilogue. Fuck. I can't believe you actually made me do that sleepover thing. You didn't have to accept, you know. Shut up. I'm having a good time. See, even Gabby is having oh, fun. Oh no. Relax a bit. <laughs> yeah. Whatever. You know, Alma, you remind me a bit of my sis. I do? How? You always manage to get a reaction from Jill. Sis always said that Jill acknowledging your presence is the best way to know she likes you. You're talking too much, Gabby. Aww. It's different with you, though. With my sis, Jill was more... frustrated. Like this one time where she bought her a shirt that... You're talking too much, little girl. A shirt that what? That had a pic of a cucumber on it. Cucumber? Uh, um... <laughs> ow! Just what are you doing with my hair? Sorry, it got stuck in one of my fingers. Seriously? So, I'm a bit like Lenore then? No, no, you just remind me of her a bit. Moreover, my sister wasn't as, um... That uh, See? Here it comes! Yeah, here it comes! Here it comes! As here it comes! Ass. What this girl is trying to say is that with your tits and ass, you could build a Lenore and a half out of the mass. Fuck this. 
Oh, it's come back around where I've I've spent so long being annoyed by it that I have this like no. sort of like no. perverse pleasure. No, don't give in to that, Tony. No, 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 not not as in to give credit, but just like I, I can't believe. Oh, we just talked about it. Ah. Okay. Anyways, um, sh share. Oh, talking too right. much, Alma. All right, that was that epilogue. All right, let's find out more. Let's wait. This goes back. This is when back in time. Uh, maybe. I don't know. It did. Sure. Yeah. Or it could have gone forward in time. You you know to be true. Anyways. So yeah, the guy had a fantasy about a woman castrating him. I tried for an hour to convince him it's a bad idea, and I finally got to him. We finally moved to the bedroom, and it turns out the guy has a weird implant where his testicles should be. It's basically a removable ball sack. I suppose the guy really liked that fantasy and made sure he could live it out properly. Uh, I once saw a guy- Oh god. I once saw a guy at the hospital in the emergency room after having been castrated to fulfill a fantasy. I wonder if it's the same guy. I have enough problems with just one, you know? Just one what? Uh... Um... <laughs> with just listening to one of your anecdotes. You told me about the Neo Tijuana thing, and now this. Don't you have a more subdued story? Come on, Joe. You're an adult. You can take that much. Shut up. Well, last time I spoke with my mom, I asked her the story of her daughter. Turns out her name is Anna. Huh. And now you pretend it's a surprise? Quiet, you. She fought off against nanomachine rejection for most of her life. She even lost a girlfriend she made in the hospital to that same sickness. Mm -hmm. Apparently, sometime after she got out of treatment, a truck hit her and killed her. Fuck. But even then, she was amazing. She was? Yeah. Yeah, she kept up her studies while still in the hospital. She was a self-taught honor student. Not only that, but she also ranked among the top five candidates in at least three college admission exams. She also played the piano and guitar. Well, being confined to a room does that, I guess. I mean, fully able-bodied people can barely do half of that. But she practically accomplished all that by herself. And she also beat nanomachine rejection, a disease that only 2% of humans suffer and even less survive. It took a trucking truck to take her down. She was great. And to think I'm sort of like her sister. Hmm. Ha. <laughs> Silly Becky. Honey, did you say something? <gasps> hmm? I did not. Weird, I swear I heard somebody call me Silly Becky. <gasps> Come again? It's not uncommon for me to hear stuff from far away and think I've heard it nearby, but... You're the only one nearby that knows my real name, so it was weird. Oh well, as I was saying, the ball sack guy. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> oh fuck! So much epilogue. Oh, oh, Mal, we are in fact getting a whole episode out of this. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> oh, oh, hush! It's a good time. Uh, yeah. I guess this is where we part ways, huh? Sadly, I'm bound to this city. I can only falsify my identity effectively around here. I really want to thank you, Chief, for the second chance you gave me. If we ever cross paths again, I. Uh, can you take that? Oh, fuck, what is Dana's voice? <laughs> it's just my voice. I can't do your voice. I, I trust you. Gil, we're leaving for like a week and a half or something. Don't be so dramatic. But I... And you're taking care of my apartment. We will cross paths because I live there. The time you spend setting up a useless farewell could be used asking me things about the place. Like where the switches and valves are. But I already know. They're in that control panel you made. But I like talking about that control panel. I'm proud of it. <laughs> Speaking of obsessive likes. Jill, stop calling Armitage. She'll take care of your four ball just fine. I'm not worried about him. I'm worried about me. I've never been away from four this long. I don't know what I'll do. You'll do just fine. You did pretty well for at least 25 years before finding him. Yes, but... We're leaving! <laughs> oh yeah, before I forget. I left you a box of condoms on the first drawer of the desk, Jill. Gil. You what? You what? Hey, if he wants to bring his new girlfriend or whatever here, I want him to be ready. 
Oh, but just one condition. If you're gonna fuck like rabbits, stay away from my room. I have too many pics of my... Emoto there, and I don't want their eyes soiled. What is that? We should go look that up. Emma who? What? Ew. Little sister. <laughs> oh. Then just say little sister. Yeah, whatever. First stop, Panama! Wow. Wow, damn. Okay. Here you can save Ooh. now save heart data. Loading heart data from the tile screen or bar will let you start over from day one while keeping your They're items. They're going money. on vacation together. I think they might have been holding hands too. That's I mean there's a strong, strong case to be made. Oh wow. Yeah, well you look at that. Da, 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 da. And that's and that's Valhalla, everybody. It sure is. Oh! oh there she is! There's Gabby! Oh, her hair is so weird. It's really weird. <laughs> it's like this way, but uh -huh, also that way. Uh huh. And then and also even that, way. that way. Yeah. yeah. Is she wearing a cape? N no, oh, that's, no, that's Jill's coat. Oh, I see. Oh, okay. But she, mm -hmm. but that. Oh, whatever. Okay. Anyways, if you enjoyed the video, well, uh, you probably know. Right, you probably yeah, do all those you things got already. this shit. All right. Uh, thanks for watching, and uh, we'll see y'all later. Bye. Bye. Bye.